Hi, this is Dr. Martini, your sexuality expert and your online sex therapist. Today I decided to do uh, a personal um, story. Um, single and looking forward to monogamy. I have been single for 13 years. Um, I have been non-monogamous for 13 years. I've had multiple lovers and enjoying myself and learning about my sexuality, teaching about my sexuality. And then on March 16th, everything just stopped. It just, boom, <laughs> it just stopped. And um, I had over the last 100 plus days, I had a lot of time to think about it and see, okay, um, what is available to me? What is available to a sexual being that is not in a relationship? And um, I've learned that um, monogamy, you know, being very selective in the person you want to be intimate with, not just look for, you know, wow, they're they're hot, they turn me on, you know, and I like them, so I want to have sex with them. You know, that is not going to work anymore. Um, so I've been thinking, and what I've actually decided, actually my body has decided that for you, because whenever I think about my Nagui, my body just goes, huh. And that feeling was before my head even followed, and I'm like, okay, what is this? There's joy I'm feeling excitement and um, so I start thinking about okay what does monogamy offer what does monogamy during COVID-19 offer and um, and it offers all kinds of wonderful wonderful thing um, consent we're gonna have to talk about it you know everything's gonna have to be communicated so communication is huge and we actually have an opportunity to be, you know, to not just to have an opportunity, we actually have to have this conversation before we go to bed with them. And, um, and that just opens all kinds of different possibilities, you know. I thought about, I said, wow, you know, with all the experiences that my life has offered me and, if, and everyone else who is in the same situation like me right now, um, I thought I can actually sit down with a person, be selective, fall in love. Um, I want to do that. That's part of, of my desire that comes along with that. And then talk about it. Talk about the sexuality and then talk about what you like and just really present yourself as the lover that you are at that moment. And, um, and that is cool. I think that's really exciting. And then the other exciting part is, is that, you know, you, you're in this bubble together because the world outside, you know, tells you that you should, if you want to have sex, you should choose a bubble and be monogamous with somebody. So you're in this bubble and you get to really work on the foundation of a wonderful partnership. And, um, and that is all super, super exciting. And then I thought about, you know, what will it be like the first time you actually then decide, okay, we're going to take the risk and this is what we're going to do. And, um, or, you know, maybe you go test it and both be negative and then, you know, don't feel, then you know the risk is much, much lower, of course. Whatever it is that you do at that moment. Um, it will start with like the first touch. So, you know, you can do that actually even early, I thought, you know, you can go sanitize your hands, wash your hands, and then just kind of offer them and then feel the other person's hand on your hand. And, uh, and that is, it will bring your senses totally up to the top. It gives you this focused decision of making contact gives you a chance to really focus on what it feels like to receive that touch and what it feels like to touch. And um, it brings us awareness. So the situation offers a lot. And the reason why I'm sharing all of this is I hope I inspire um, people out there who also are in my position, um, um, who are single and, and 
have thoughts about what their sex life would look like in the future. Also, I hope to inspire people who already are in a relationship to really be aware of all of that. They could do all of that too and really go in with a different focus and a different attention. You know, we have learned not to take things for granted and that includes the sexual touch. So, uh, like I said, I hope to inspire you and I hope you will call me if you need any help with it, if you want to find a certain, if you want to find your path and have more light on it. I will talk to you soon. Next week. Bye.